All right, here with here with Natoya Gould, fresh off a school record setting 4x400 meter relay. Take us through the race and how you saw the first three legs unfold from your vantage point. Well, I saw my team, they were there, you know, with everybody else. And I know that once they keep it there, because I know that I can catch whoever, but I didn't catch one person, but that was nothing because I still get a good split and we went 328, the school record. So, I'm so happy. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Now, as I'm told, you split 50.4. Have you ever run that fast in your life? No, not ever. The fastest ever split was 5105, which was at Georgia Tech this year. So, I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> so, you qualified in the 800 meters first. You did that on Friday. Uh, what was it like getting through those rounds? Uh, did you experience any difficulty getting back to Eugene? But it was okay, you know, I wanted to run a faster time, but 203 is okay, because when you come on to Eugene, it's going to be business, nothing else, you know, here, it was kind of windy, but I ain't going to blame it on the wind alone, you know, I don't think I was mentally prepared to run as fast as I wanted to, because I was thinking about it too much, but I know when I reach Eugene, and I have the rounds, like, I'm going to have 4 by 4 rounds for the, four, um, the 800 finals and all that, I know that I'll be ready. All right, thank you, Natoya. All right, Tevin Hester, double qualifier in the 100 and 200 dash. Take me through the weekend, first of all, and then 100 for you. Looked pretty smooth through all the rounds. This weekend was great for me. Um, just being able to get through the rounds, winning each, um, each of my heats, and running good times. I just, I'm just happy to get out of here healthy and just have to reset, refocus, get ready for nationals. You set a facility record in the 100 in the, uh, in the opening round. Uh, what did that mean to you in, the, in terms of your maturation of that event? Um, it means a lot, um, just coming out here and executing, doing what I had to do, and not even focusing on the facility record, but just getting it just off um, pure hard work and talent, so I'm just happy to come out here and do what I could do. Undoubtedly, your best progress this season has been in the 200. Um, what's been the difference for you uh, in your junior year? You're making it your first outdoor nationals in the event, I believe. Um, just basically this, all, this whole fall, I told myself, I'm going to be the same runner, I'm going to work hard in whatever it is they put me in, so... No matter if it's the 100 or the 4x4 four four or whatever they need me to run, just give them my all because in the end it's going to benefit me. 200s, I took a different attitude and different approach towards it this year. Um, just knowing that it would help my finish in the 100 and basically attacking the race and not letting it attack me. So it's definitely been beneficial this whole season. All right, what kind of a number do you think you can post out in Eugene? What's it going to take to, to claim an outdoor championship? Um, I haven't thought about it yet, but uh, right now I just want to focus on getting rest and whatever guy allows me to run and I just go out there and give it my all through him. All right, thank you.